Well, I want to fax Mars. I had kind of an epiphany last night. Here's a list of different air carriers here in the United States. And I'm going to make up a scenario. From L.A. to New York City, we have four travelers. You can insert your own religion in this if you want. I'm not picking on any religion. I'm only going with the ones that I know about. Got that? Well, so you have four religious people. One's a Muslim, one's a Jew, one's a Christian, one's a Wiccan, or a witch. They're all flying on this plane. They all know each other, and they all don't like each other. Why don't they like each other? It's because of their religions. Like Jews don't like Muslims. Muslims don't like Jews and Christians. Christians don't like witches. I say they're working for the devil. And witches don't like Christians because they used to burn them at stake. Which I can understand the reasoning. Alright, uh, anyway. Whatever. Insert your own religion there. Sufficient to say they don't like each other. Alright? <sighs> so. They're flying from L.A. to New York City. And they're riding in a plane. I was hoping to get some stats on workers, but... It's really not necessary. They're flying in a plane that was built... All these people consider each other infidels. Well, I got news for you. All this plane, this hypothetical plane, was built by people that you consider to be infidels. Duh. That's right. The Christian thinks of the witch as being an infidel. Infidel thinks of the, the uh, witch thinks of the Christian as being an infidel. Muslim thinks of the Christian as being an infidel, so on and so forth. Insert your own religion, like I said. I'm not doing this specific to these religions. I'm only picking on them because they're the ones I know most about. I know a little bit about Hinduism. I uh, studied that in high school. But anyway, the point is, they're supposed to avoid the infidels at all costs, and yet, you're riding in a plane that is what that was built by infidels, in part. You're landing in an airport that was built by infidels, in part, simply by random chance. You can expect some of the workers were Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hindu, whatever. And you people don't seem to have a problem with that. Why is that? Well, you're telling us that your gods are condemning every one of these other faiths. But you don't have any problem writing in the plane that was built by these people, now do you? Or scenario number two, a bus driving over the highway. Who do you think builds highways? You can bet there are witches at work on it, Hindus and Muslims, Christians, Jews, whatever. You getting to the point yet? All of you are sitting there saying, no, we can't have anything to do with infidels, infidels have to die, yada yada. Or, we'll cast a spell on the infidels, or whatever. The point is, you're all saying that your gods are superior, and, you know, screw the other god, doesn't matter. They're false gods, so on and so forth. And all of you are ready to kill each other over this. Well, screw you. This is what I have to say. I'm an agnostic. I got news for you, folks. Besides the fact that this is all hypocrisy on part of people, and let me mention the clothes that you uh, wear, probably are made by infidels in some cases, and the pen in your pocket, laptop on your lap, so on and so forth. Not only is that all that true, 
but you uh, folks don't seem to mind it at all. And here's my point, though. In all seriousness, we're going to have to learn to stop fighting. We're going to have to learn to get along. You have to learn to respect each other's religions. Muslims respecting Christians, Christians respecting uh, witches, Jews respecting Muslims, so on and so forth. You're going to have to learn to do that, or we're going to wipe ourselves off this planet. You know, the weapons have got to the point where we're talking about this automated killing stuff, where these things just keep coming and coming. You're not scared now, you never will be. UN's trying to rein this in, and for once I agree with them. See, you're going to have to learn to get along and respect each other's religions. That's all there is to it, and you have to learn to respect the atheists and the agnostics, too. And atheists and the agnostics are going to have to respect you. The alternative is, we blow ourselves off the planet. You know, somewhere out there, I'm an agnostic, but I think there's a God that's looking down on us, and he's either disgusted with us, or he's laughing at us, and I don't know which. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure about a God. I've looked at the Garden of Eden story. Christian preachers do not teach it for what it actually says. If I go by the book, uh, what Genesis says is that the Garden of Eden was a fruit orchard and uh, uh, it was artificially planted. That's what the Bible says. It was planted artificially irrigated, and Adam was put in there to tend to it. I'm getting off topic here. The Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, uh, Santa Maria, whatever, you're going to have to learn to get along, because if you don't, we're going to blow ourselves off the planet. I'm getting about tired of it myself, and I'm conservative. We cannot afford this anymore, folks. we got to find a way to get this under control, or we will kill ourselves. We'll kill our species, and then some guy will be up there laughing at us and saying, Ha, 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 look at them. I didn't have to kill them off. <clears throat> they killed themselves off. Think about it. I'm artifacts of Mars.